Hello, everybody, and welcome to Save or Die Outcast Episode 3. How are my favorite players in the whole wide world doing today? Neil, I'm doing, are, fantastic uh, doing fantastic today. Fantastic. So wow. good. Yeah, wow. <clears throat> We're all doing well. Wow. Thank you, Neil. All four of us. Wow. So while we're going through this this swamp, um, the Devouring Marsh is really what it's called. You know, halfway across this narrow choke point, what they call the Maw, is uh, where you would normally turn off to the west to go find Autumn's Tower. You come across this this resting spot where there's already a, a group of people here. And I'm going to bring you on over to our, our group of people little map. He'll come on over because he's watching the, the back of this little party, and he'll see the four three of you coming up and he'll wave one hand in your direction <clears throat> hello. hello i'm gao i'm from far away hello nice to meet you hello hello it's a pleasure to meet you then my name is stefan and you'll step forward a little bit um, it's always good to have allies in the swamp i assume you'll be doing your duty he says as he begins to walk back to his fire if anyone's attacked him the night um, he just makes his way back to his fire quietly by yeah i walk away i go and start setting up our own fire Yes. Thrakis. Mm. Skarira. Um, I need you to roll me a d6, Thrakis. I would like to know Sir what Rackus. I am rolling for, or at least whether I want low or high, please. I don't know what you want. Oh, uh, like, this ooh. old chestnut. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I want it too. Okay, I get a five. Oh, you that's, get a five, right? That's a backwards two, though, if you think about it. Oh, shit, oh, did mate, I say but... d6? I meant a, a d8. I'm so sorry. Okay, well, this time I want a three. Oh, okay, yes, um, that's also a backwards two. <laughs> In a way. Okay. True. Coming from the, the bottom is a, an excited little halfling. She's got... Uh, <laughs> see, I'm looking for this person. And there's this this um red-robed wizard that, <laughs> that I'm out looking for. Well, we have oh. someone wearing red robes. I've got, a, I've got some drawings well, of him. Let me, let me yeah, have a look I'd at like those. to show and you. Can, can I have a... Yeah, let's go I'll by your fire. Um, and on these four pieces of vellum are four different sketches of Arrakis. What are you... Uh... How much are you giving for information? You know, he's wanted for capital crimes. I think most people should probably try and help out because it's, like, good for society. We I shouldn't shrug. always try and get ahead and profit from other people's bad doings. Sorry, I don't I know mean, anything. We don't really belong in society. So things that are done for the good of society, generally not how we do things. Oh. You can understand that, right? We're outcasts. I don't even know how to explain what Grau is. He's from far away. You know, he gets himself into a little bit of trouble. Not, not from big far away. Very handsome. He got kicked he's by a horse nice. when he was a child. Well, you know, uh, he's not... only ever been on one date. If you guys want to go on a date, I mean, I know it's not the not um, right time or location. No. Excuse me, that's okay. weird. I don't... You just, said, well, no, you just you. said he was handsome. I was just saying he's... Yeah, like, I don't... I'm just gonna... I, you know, give me those papers back. I'm going to go ask the other group if they've seen anything. I'm going to move my stuff over there, too. Well, hold on. Paper. And I'll say, whew, I need to go. It's a lot of tea. I need to go empty the, the little lizard. Yeah. I am totally not going to the bathroom. I am making my way around to this side <laughs> of the halfling. And I'm going to try to mug Oh, well, her. then she's going to just let her go. Let him no, cook. No, you can't. Okay. They've seen Arrakis. They, these guys over here have seen him. You can make your way back to the party. And was the, the lesson learned today, don't fuck with Garp? Or was it, don't offer to date halflings the moment you see them? <laughs> she thought that he, she said, I think your friend's hot. I was like, basically saying like, he's single. She's like, oh no, I only like married men. Ugh. And then starts to leave our <laughs> camp. Mm -hmm. And so you killed her. And so she was drowned. Come morning time, there is an anxious and pacing autumn and as people come out one at a time you can see that she's like waiting for everyone to be here before she talks to you i've discovered last night that my entire supply of a particular reagent is ruined and so i need to make up a list of things to refresh some <clears throat> supplies and I know a place where you can get them, but, but... they wouldn't sell to you. No, they would. They, they just charge completely unreasonable and what I think are completely unethical prices. Perhaps, milady, you are simply so good at negotiation that the good disappears from his shop and left in its place is a fair amount of wealth for that good. A fair price. That is a fabulous idea. So I'm, I'm eager to get the list of reagents here, Neil. Yeah. 
and we'll get that list of reagents next week on Save or Die. But in the meantime, we're XP. gonna dole out experience points. Woo! Woo! Three sessions worth of experience.